Hey everyone, it's Blake Bundy here from Winning Solutions Inc. And today I will be bringing you guys another Microsoft Access Expert Template Walkthrough. I will be showing you guys where to find the template database on our website, how to download the template database demo, and how to use the demo properly. Most of our templates are not designed to be used on their own. Instead, they are designed in a way that makes it simple and smooth to integrate it into an already existing database that you have already been using. You can also build a more robust Microsoft Access database that is built around one of our templates. If you would like to create a new database that is based off of one of our templates and don't know how or do not have the time to do so, let us know and we would be happy helping you with getting the database that 100% fits your needs. With most of our templates that we offer, there's three different versions that you can purchase. A compiled runtime version, one for internal use, and one for unlimited developer use. Our, our compiled runtime version is a run as is version without the paid full version of Microsoft Access using the free Access runtime from Microsoft. It can be integrated into your existing Access application, but you would not be able to make any modifications to the forms, the reports, the modules, etc. This option is more for those of you who do not see any need to make any customizations to the template. Our internal use version allows you to use or modify the databases however you wish within your organization. And last but not least, our unlimited developer use version allows you to use the database template however you wish for any applications you develop and distribute the template as part of a database you create. Winning Solutions Inc's templates have a strong advantage over shrink wrap software that you purchase from a store or website. With our templates, you receive the source code along with your purchase so you are able to customize and update the database as you please. With shrink wrap software, you do not receive the source code when purchasing the software, which means that you cannot update or customize the database as you wish. In our video today, we will be working on a demo version of our database template. A demo is a simple way that you can view and try out our database templates so that you can determine if you would like to purchase it or not. This is great for customers due to the fact that all of our sales are final. Our sales are final because when we, we give you the source code when you purchase the template. And once we give you the source code, there is really no way that you can return the code. If you'd like to test out our demos for multiple days, you are free to do so. All you have to do is leave the database open so that the data you enter will not be wiped. That is because our demos are designed so that once you close the demo, all the data that you have entered will be wiped from that database. You have to purchase the full version if you would like to save your data that you have entered. Upon downloading a demo for one of our templates, you will have to unzip the downloadable file. Zip files make it much easier to send and download large files over the web. Unzipping a file is a very simple step. All you have to do is extract the file so that you have access to the uncompressed file. If you do not know how or do not understand how to unzip a file, check out our YouTube channel and watch the How to Unzip One of Our Files video tutorial to learn this simple step. The link to that video will be in the description of this video. So now, let us get into downloading and testing out one of our templates. We're going to start off here by going to our website at microsoftaccessexpert.com. As you can see, I have been here before. On the top of our website, there's going to be a toolbar with all the various ways that you are able to contact Winning Solutions Inc. You're going to want to click on the sidebar button on the left side of our homepage that is labeled Database Templates for Sale. A sub list then opens up and you need to select the Database Templates List button to view the list of all of our templates that we offer. The list is broken up into categories. The different categories that we currently have are our most popular ones, appointment and scheduling databases, calendars databases, reservations and booking databases, contact and communications databases, task management databases, equipment and maintenance tracking databases, sales databases, employee databases, education databases, small business databases, and last but not least, database tools and miscellaneous templates. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Microsoft Access membership tracking database with event calendar. 
So you're gonna wanna go ahead and go up to the small business section and you're gonna wanna select the access membership tracking database with event calendar. Once you've done that, you're gonna wanna download the demonstration that correctly corresponds to the version of access that you are currently running on. I'm gonna go ahead and download this one. Once download finishes, go ahead and open that. And you're gonna wanna extract all this file, so go ahead and extract it. Once you've done that, go ahead and open it. And with all of our database templates, since they do come from the, the web, your computer views it as a potential security risk or a warning. Now, I can assure you that this database template is safe, so I'm gonna go ahead and continue on and open the database. All right, so this is the membership track database with the event calendar. So this would, database template would be perfect for if you had a, an organization where you had members or you just had a little club where you wanted to keep track of all your memberships, your committees within the, me uh, within the club, and things such as events that are going on. So it's a pretty, pretty big database. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start off here, but we're just going to create a new member. We're going to say Mr. Well, I'll just put in my name. Why not? All right. And um, we're not going to put in any of this stuff because we're not going to fill out everything on this page. We'll fill out some of the stuff. We'll put in a test email. And we'll put in a phone number of him. Why not? The business phone number. Reach him at work. And as you can see, you can even put a picture of the member, which I think that's pretty cool. We're going to mark the person active as they're an active member. And they have different membership, membership types. We're going to put full member. Date join. We'll say 11, November 11, 2011. Birthday. We don't need to do that. So, but as you can see, you can put in notes, you can put in their address, you can put in a lot of information on this. And we're also going to add them to a committee. And what we're going to, we're going to put in the meals committee and we're going to say position, we're going to just put cook. I'll show you guys more about the committees later. Just for now, I'm going to put that. So now I'm going to go ahead and save and close this. So we have created that member and now we can actually search for that member. So if I want to search, I'm just going to go by their last name to keep it easy. As you can see, you can search for other items though. But there I am, Mr. Blake Bunny. And you can actually double click the record if you want to view the record or edit the record some more. However, we are not going to do it for now. We're just going to close out of this. And so now, if you can see, you can maintain committees. So we have two committees already. We have the meals committee, and there's also one more, and I think it's transportation, if I'm correct. But as you can see, this description of this committee is in charge of making food is available at mealtime. So we already have some test information put in there when we created the, uh, the database just for demonstration purposes. So we have Jonathan who's a member, Becky is the president, Ryan is the secretary of this committee, and I am the cook. And that's because I added them when I created myself. So that's pretty cool. You can add a bunch of different committees within this. You can have as many as you want. We're gonna go to close that for now. And you can also create events. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna maintain events. So what we're going to do is we're going to create an event. Let's say we're going to go on a bike ride with all the members. Bike ride, and we're going to make it location one, right not? Start time, we'll say today, December 23rd. At, let's do a nighttime bike ride, 12 to 15 a.m. And we're going to go December 21st till 2 a.m. There we go. So now I'm going to save. Actually, I'm going to create a custom color first. I'll show you why in a second. So that just makes that green. Now if I save and close that. Now if I want to click the event calendar, I'm going to see that event I just created, 12 a.m. to 2 a.m., that bike ride. So if I view the monthly view, there we go. There's that bike ride. So this is pretty cool. And the reason why I said I'm going to put a color on it is because if you were going to have multiple events back to back or just a bunch of events on one day, you're going to need to make them different colors so you can stay organized and see that there's multiple events. So this is a pretty detailed database. And you can also, you can search for events. So if I want to search for one event at, uh, we'll put start date at today. And I want to run that search. There we go. There's that event. And for some reason, it is not, these are not showing up. However, they will show up if you buy the purchase template. And so look at that. We got the bike ride location one, 12.15 to 2 a.m. So it's pretty cool. I'm just going to go ahead and thank you guys for taking your time to watch this Microsoft Access Expert template walkthrough brought to you by Winning Solutions, Inc. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to give us a like or subscribe to our YouTube channel for tons of other walkthroughs and tutorials. As always, feel free to contact us for any of your IT needs, whether it be programming that you need, you want to buy a template, you want to customize a template, anything. Feel free to contact us whenever you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to post our contact information in the description below of this video. Also, you can find us on about any social media website. Feel free to follow us or like us on any of those websites we post quite frequently. 
Once again, thank you guys for taking your time to watch this Microsoft Access Expert Template Walkthrough, and have a great day. Thank you.